uh, private victories. So private victory in your own life. And this, this set of, of principles is designed to take you from being a dependent person, you're dependent on other people, to being an independent person. So that's supposed to basically occur when you reach this line, you're supposed to be an independent person. If you're, if you're actively acting out and living these principles, you're gonna be an independent person. You're gonna be able to function on your own uh, pretty effectively. But when you come down into the second set of three, that's where the real magic happens. And that's when you become what's called interdependent. And you get to the point to where instead of two people working together and you know one plus one equaling two, you get to synergy and you get one plus one equals you know 10 or 11 or something like that. So the fourth principle with that in mind is to think win-win. So just off the top of their heads, can anybody tell me what that brings, what that brings to mind, like thinking win-win? Just give me real quick, like first hot takes from anybody. Positive attitude, Positive attitude. Daniel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody else? Success. Success. Yeah. So for You're not taking advantage of somebody. Right. You can actually get something that's gonna be mutually beneficial. Yep. If you have it for anybody in your progress for success. Exactly. Mutually beneficial. Or a symbiotic relationship. So obviously it's it's probably pretty obvious how this could work in a situation like this. Um, my, my favorite, it, just to give you guys a real tangible thing, my favorite way to implement this type of thinking in our business is ticket pay. If I can bid a job, know exactly how much I'm gonna pay for it, and just give you guys a ticket, and you can figure out how to get it done more quickly, it's, it's not just a win-win, it's a win-win-win, because we are controlling our costs of labor, which is our biggest, that if something's gonna screw up our margins, it's always gonna be our cost of labor. Uh, you're happy because you can make more money. We're not putting a limit on how much money you're making. And then the homeowner is happy because the job is getting done more quickly and effectively. Um, so that's just kind of like a real tangible example. But what the author goes through in the book is in order to get to a win-win scenario, you have to have a real relationship with the person that you're trying to be win-win with. So win-win uh, situations flow out of positive win-win relationships. And the way that you build those is by making deposits in what he calls the emotional bank account for how they're feeling and what they're thinking. Uh, the second one is attending to the little things, um, not blowing them off, responding to them like respectfully, not crunching a water bottle in the middle of a meeting. Just fucking with you. And then apologizing sincerely when you make a withdrawal from an emotional bank account. So if you do something that you're like, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. The best way to recover from that and actually turn it into a positive is to apologize sincerely. Like that's what a lot of people misunderstand about making a mistake or screwing up. If you, if you screw up and then you sincerely apologize, explain what happened and then like really you're like, look, I'm sorry, I, like, I really didn't mean to do that and you mean it. That person actually ironically even though you screwed up and you didn't do what you said you were gonna do, which is like a, a withdrawal from the bank account is what you would call it, the amount that you gain from the apology can actually put you ahead of where you were in the first place. Like let that sink in, that's crazy. Like sometimes I talk to, jokingly, mostly, but sometimes I talk to mom and Jeff about how I want to create problems sometimes, I don't, and I know I don't do this, I'm not like sabotaging you, don't like go crazy with this. But I, I, I look for problems with customers so that I can solve them because then they trust us more. Then they're like, oh, this problem popped up. They handled it. It wasn't a big deal. They were upfront and straightforward the whole time. Now I trust them even more than I did before because relationships are built on the, like, the, like the tribulations that you go through and how you like rebound from them. You know, it's not how hard you hit, it's how hard you can get hit and keep going in the words of Sylvester Stallone. So, the, what, what this really um, boils down to, a really, a really simple way to think of thinking win-win is in order to, to come up with win-win scenarios and think in that way, you have to have a, a combination of courage and consideration. And the, the author breaks down four different types of scenarios. There's in the bottom left corner where there's low consideration and low courage, 
you have a lose-lose. If you're more considerate, but you're still not courageous, you're not able to really like stand up for yourself and, and know where your boundaries are, you have a lose-win to where, and not, not to, this is not picking on you, but that's a great example of explaining to the customer, like taking time and explaining to the customer, even though you're not getting paid for and it sucks, that's a lose for you and a, a win for them. So, and then down here you have high courage and low consideration. That would be like the used car salesman who it's a win for, for you, but a lose for the other person. Like a used car salesman who, you know, maybe is doing something shady and like selling somebody a car that he knows is gonna break down in a couple thousand miles. That would be a win for him because he gets his commission, but a lose for the person who wasted their money on a car. And then the combination of those two, if you're courageous and you know what you want and you're secure and firm in your boundaries, and you're also considerate of what the other person needs, then you can choose, instead of having to choose between two simple options of either I win or I lose, you can see a third way to where you can both win and genuinely get what you want. This is not compromise. We're not talking about compromise to where, you know the saying like a good compromise leaves all parties dissatisfied. I, I disagree with that vehemently. I don't think that that has to exist. That, that mentality of, in order for us to all get what we want, we all have to be unhappy. That's a scarcity mindset and frankly, it's bullshit. We live in, we live in 2019, like we have the internet, like we can fly to a, like across the world if we want. I could talk to somebody in China right now on my phone, you know, like within milliseconds. We live in a time to where we don't have to be in a scarcity mindset. So let's shift that into an abundance mindset. Um, and in that vein, I know, uh, a couple weeks ago, I had wanted to, so when we did the, if you guys remember the session where we threw up our thoughts about what we want the company to be on the board, we basically made like a big list. Last month, I was supposed to have consolidated that and boiled it down into a mission statement, um, and I didn't get to it, so I did it this month, <clears throat> and I'm probably not gonna be able to get through this because I feel super strongly about it, but. Here we go, so this is our mission statement. Home Love Construction is remodeling. We give more than we take. Customers leave our care as raving fans. Everywhere we go, we leave a wake of well-built structures, beautifully detailed finishes, and well-educated homeowners. We accomplish our project goals rapidly and reliably through the use of cutting-edge products and technology. We are positive, professional, growth-oriented, well-equipped, and tenacious. Our culture is our most valuable asset. We work as, t as a team. Leaders in our organization work for their team members. Team members respond to direction with a can-do attitude, indicative of our voracious appetite for results. Our community propels our brand forward. The momentum of our positive contributions is unstoppable and our growth potential is infinite. The love we pour into everything we do comes back to us tenfold. We are not building a company, we're building a human organization without limits, home love construction, is remodeling. <laughs> Boom, there we go. Great, right? I didn't make that, you guys made that. You guys made that. That All I did is I took that list and I boiled down and that's on the board as well. That's what like bringing a group of people together and like human energy combining is super powerful. Like that list that we made, all I did was take that list and reword it, that's it. Like that came from you guys, so that is us. What do you think I'm doing, Ronnie? <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay, so thank you guys. I didn't cuss in that. <laughs> yeah, no profanity either. Proud of myself. Okay, so thank you guys for coming in. If you relate, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Not in the grand scheme of things, who gives a shit? 30 minutes of our lives, whatever. Yeah. So you guys are all great. Thank you for everything you do. If you haven't eaten, eat, please. Uh, and thank you for coming in and doing this with us.